What is going on everyone? My name is Joshua Williamson and today I'm not doing a reaction video. I'm actually um do I'm gonna start this little series called The Stuff I Hate. Um that's where I'm gonna name about I think a maximum of five per video of stuff that really stresses me out, stuff I can't stand, you know, stuff like that. Um but let's let's get on with the first one. Uh, when you watch a cooking video on YouTube and they don't even give you any measurements of the ingredients. Like, like what's the point in making a cooking video if you're not going to show us the measurements of any of the ingredients? Here's a prime example. I looked up a recipe um, for sweet potato pie on YouTube before, and um, this woman getting, giving us the ingredients, she, she just, she, she did not give you any single measurement in the videos, and she, and. If that wasn't surprising enough, she di she didn't even leave any measurements down below in the description. She didn't give you a link to uh, her website for the f the printed recipe. She didn't do nothing. Like that doesn't even make any sense. Why would you do that? I I hate that so badly. I really do. Next one. Oh my God. This 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 makes me so mad that that it's not even funny. When you put food in Tupperware. And someone goes to get some of the food in the Tupperware. That's okay, but what makes me mad is that they don't close the lid on the Tupperware. But <clears throat> you do realize that the food is gonna go bad if you don't close the lid on the Tupperware. Like, you see, my parents are a prime example for this. I mean, I mean, a lot. I I cook desserts a lot, okay, and um, you know. I, I sort them in Tupperware, of course, you know, to keep them fresh. And um, when they go to get whatever it is that they put, that I put in the Tupperware, they the, all they do is just sit the lid on it like, like that. They don't even close the lid on it. You do realize that it's going to go bad if you don't close the lid on it. Next one, man. Oh. Uh, See, I, this this may this may have been just me, okay? But have you ever been walking by your kitchen counter and while swinging your arms while walking? Because let's be honest, who doesn't swing their arms while walking? And um, this happened to me so many times, and it is it is one of the worst things that has ever happened to me. Um, I was I was walking by my kitchen counter, you know, I was swinging my arms, and um, all of a sudden, while I was swinging my arms, I hit this part of my hand. On the corner of the counter, that that hurts so badly. That that leaves so that leaves so much pain in your hand for so long. Like, <clears throat> that hurts. That hurts really, really freaking badly. Um. Um. Next one. When when someone sneezes too loud. I mean, this that one, that one's kind of stupid and weird, but. It's. It, I think it's just so annoying when people sneeze that loud. I mean, like, why do you? Why do you have to sneeze that loud? That's just gonna add to the pain. It's gonna add pain to your throat from screaming. Like, let's. I'll give you a prime example. My mom. Okay. Almost every time she sneezes, she has to go. Ah, That's. Why do you have to sneeze so loudly? Like. Like I don't understand that. I mean. Some some people tell me it's a relief. It's not a relief to me. It just adds to the pain. You know, if you have to sneeze, just why can't you why can't you just sneeze quiet? What's 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 the point in screaming while sneezing? I I just don't. That's irritating. But anyways, the last one. Oh my god. A lot of people who's in school would probably agree with me on this. When it gets too loud in a school classroom. That really makes it hard for me to concentrate on my work, and you know, and you know, I, I absolutely hate when it gets loud in a classroom when people when kids are talking and all of a sudden they get too loud. Some of them even start screaming sometimes. Like, like I, I don't know why, but that that it's, it sometimes it even makes me nervous that the t that the teacher is gonna get mad, and you know, I hate when it gets loud in a classroom like that. What's the point in that? But, I'll give you an I'll give you an example. One time um, during my junior year last year, um, I was in my global issues class, and bef before class started, you know, we we were allowed to, um, you know, have have a little chat before the teacher came in, um, and um, 
this one kid, I'm not, I'm not gonna mention any names. He was a senior during my junior year, so he's already graduated now. Um, <clears throat> he, every time he laughs, he, it seems like he, he has, he has to just laugh so freaking loudly. I mean, I, I just don't. It's, it's like the sneezing thing, but it's laughing. Why do you have, to, why do you have to scream while laughing? I mean, I this. This this person laughs so loud. He, every time he laughs, he's like, ah! I mean, it's like what? Oh, it's like what? Why do you, why do you have to laugh like that? I don't understand. Like, if you laugh, why can't you get so? <laughs> I mean, but no, this this person th thinks that thinks that it's better to uh, to scream while la la sc laugh while screaming at the same time. Like you. You basically get what I'm saying. I can't stand that, but but yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are five things I hate. Um, let me know what you guys think. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, thumb it up. If you hated this video, thumb it down. And as always, I'll see you next time with another upload.